How's it going everyone, it is Panjano here, and in this video we're quickly going to be covering something in which many people don't often set up on their gaming PCs, where you could be losing out anywhere from 10%, extra performance which is available on your PC, but is just locked behind one setting which many people don't bother to take the time to actually enable. The individual feature we're going to be quickly enabling in this video is resizable bar. You may also know this as rebar, or for those of you on AMD Radeon GPUs, smart access memory, or AMD SAM. In this video we're going to be showing you how to enable and set this up on both Nvidia GPUs and AMD GPUs, all of the best settings you need to be making use of and how to get the best setup possible. Tired of seeing the activate Windows watermark, built a new PC or just want to own Windows at a major discount, head over to WhoKeys to purchase a Windows 10, 11, Home or Pro OEM key at a major discount. Make sure to use code PAN20 for a further 20% off at checkout where you can use a safe and secure payment method such as PayPal. Once your key is delivered, simply input the key inside of Windows and boom, you're now completely activated and own Windows forever. You'll now have access to all features and no more watermark. Thanks again to WhoKeys for sponsoring today's video. Well, first of all, need to identify if resizable bar is actually supported on your system. Out of the components listed on screen now, if you are running on anything newer or higher end, resizable bar or AMD's smart access memory will be available in some capacity. For those of you running on older AMD Radeon based GPUs, there is also an unofficial resizable bar or smart access memory patch, and it will be featured at the end of this video to enable resizable bar on AMD Radeon GPUs, which aren't officially supported. So if your system fits the criteria or exceeds the criteria on screen, should be able to be enabled. So before we jump into any of the optimizations or settings you need to enable, we first of all need to do a very quick check of your system specs to make sure that resizable bar will actually work on your PC. As resizable bar is only going to be compatible on relatively modern PCs, it doesn't necessarily mean that you have to have the latest components, but you need to be running on the more modern partition type on your hard drive or SSD where Windows is installed. This sounds very complicated, but it's a quick and easy check just to make sure if everything's going to work properly. To check this, all you need to do is press Windows and X on your keyboard. With inside of the menu that pops up, you need to find disk management. You then need to navigate down at the bottom to be able to find the disk which has your C drive located with inside of it. For me that's disk 1, this could be completely different for you depending on how many drives you have installed. Once you find the drive which has your local disk C drive on, navigate over to the left hand side to the actual drive number. Right click on the disk, navigate down to properties, then head over to the volumes tab at the top. You'll then be able to find the partition style. If you are running a GPT style, like I am on this machine, resizable bar support will be completely supported and you're good to go and enable it in the BIOS or it could already be enabled and you're good to continue with the rest of the steps. If unfortunately this says MBR or master boot record, this is the older style of partition with inside of Windows and is outdated and resizable bar will not be supported on this system type. If you enable resizable bar, you won't be able to boot into Windows and you'll need to jump through a ton of different hoops to be able to potentially get this turned off and it will be a massive headache. To start off, before we do anything, we first of all need to see if we need to adjust any additional settings. We'll just need to jump into the system bars to enable one quick and easy option to unlock resizable bar support, but if it's already enabled in your system, then we don't have to do that step. So simply take yourself into either the NVIDIA control panel or AMD Radeon control panel. For NVIDIA users, navigate up towards the top to the help section, then navigate down to system information. And towards the top, you should be able to find the option for resizable bar. If this is labeled as yes, then your system is already supporting resizable bar. We just need to jump into the back end and enable this. If it says no, we just quickly need to jump into the system BIOS and enable one quick setting to enable the functionality on our system. For those of you on AMD Radeon systems, simply right click, open up the AMD Radeon software. It does not matter if you're using the Pro version or the Adrenaline version. Go towards the top to the performance section, then head over to tuning. Once you find the AMD Smart Access setting, if this is labeled as not supported, we will need to quickly jump into the system BIOS and enable one very quick setting. Resizable bar support is already available on your Nvidia GPU or AMD using the checks in which we just showed in the video simply skip to the timestamp on screen now because you do not have to boot into the BIOS to further enable any other settings. So to jump straight into the options to actually enable resizable bar, take yourself to the bottom left hand side, press the left shift key on your keyboard and keep this held down. Press the Windows start button, right click on the power button and select restart. As we're going to be quickly booting into the system's BIOS. Continue to hold down the left shift key until you are met with this screen here. Head over to the troubleshoot tab in the middle, then navigate down to advanced options. Find UEFI or UEFI firmware settings. Select this option. Select restart. This should then reboot you into your system's BIOS. Now depending on the age, make, model or manufacturer of your system, your system's BIOS is more than likely going to be a slightly different layout but most of these options can be found in similar sections. Asus motherboards are different to Gigabyte motherboards, Gigabyte motherboards are different to MSI motherboards but the options which we're going to be looking for should be able to be found in the motherboard quite easily. If you don't see any options on this main landing page in the basic mode of your BIOS to enable resizable bar or above 4G decoding then we'll need to boot into the classic or advanced modes. 
you'll usually find a button on the screen or it will either be F2 or F7 in most cases on your keyboard. For me at the top here I can click classic. If you are still struggling to enable resizable bar or find the options with inside of your BIOS, all you need to do is look at the BIOS information on screen where you'll be able to see the make and model of your motherboard. Take yourself over to Google, whether that be on your phone or your PC, search for the make and model of the motherboard in which you are using, then just search for rebar support afterwards. Have a look around on Reddit, support pages, or even the motherboard's official documentation, which will be available on the manufacturer's support page to find out how to enable resizable bar on your individual motherboard if the setting seems to be hidden away or you just can't find it. On this specific system in which I'm showcasing here, I can find the resizable bar option found underneath the peripherals tab, where I'll then need to navigate down to the above 4G decoding option. In many cases, on newer Gigabyte motherboards, some other manufacturers may also have this setting, in many cases you'll actually need to enable the above 4G decoding option to find the resizable bar option, which will automatically appear once that's enabled. Double click on this or press enter on your keyboard, change this from disabled to enabled. I can then navigate down to the resize bar support setting and either set this to on or auto depending on what's available to you. Go to the top right hand side to save and exit, then select save and exit setup. Yes, once you exit the BIOS, the system should then automatically restart back to the desktop. We should now be at the stage where resizable bar is enabled. Whether you had to boot into the BIOS or if it happened to be automatically enabled on your system, we now need to jump into the individual options for both AMD Radeon GPUs and or Nvidia GPUs to enable resizable bar on your PC. For AMD Radeon users, right click and open up the AMD Radeon software. It does not matter which version of the software you're using, whether you're using the Pro version or the Adrenaline driver, both work in the exact same way and the setting can be found in the exact same place. And navigate towards the top to the Performance tab. Inside of here, navigate over to the Tuning section, then simply navigate down towards the middle section where you'll then be able to find AMD Smart Access Memory. If this is not enabled at this point, go ahead and set this to enabled. You'll then have to restart your system. You're then good to run your benchmarks again, jump into some of your favorite games and see what performance is like. For those of you on an NVIDIA-based GPU, you'll need to navigate over to your desktop, right click, go to Show More Options and select the NVIDIA Control Panel. Navigate up towards the top to the Help section, then select System Information. You'll then see the option for Resizable Bar. If the option says Yes next to it, that means that Resizable Bar is enabled, but it isn't actually functioning because we need to enable additional settings inside of NVIDIA GPUs to get this to work. Go to the bottom right, select Close, minimize out of the Control Panel. You'll need to make use of a third-party application titled NVIDIA Profile Inspector. This application basically allows you to jump completely into the back end of the NVIDIA Control Panel settings and all of the functionality. This way we can manually force Resizable Bar to work across the entire system and not just the very few select games which are built into the NVIDIA Control Panel. For this, navigate over to Google, search NVIDIA Profile Inspector. We then need to navigate down to the GitHub section, Orb MU 2K or ORB MU 2K. You only want to use this version of the NVIDIA Profile Inspector and not go to any third party sites. Once inside of here, you then want to download the latest version. You'll then be able to find the NVIDIA Profile Inspector.zip. Save this to your desktop or anywhere in particular you want it. And just to make sure that it works properly, I like to grab the files out of the zip and just drag them over to your desktop or a blank folder. Find the NVIDIA Profile Inspector.exe, run this. To find the option, we just need to scroll down to the common section, which is listed under number five. Scroll down ever so slightly towards the bottom where you will then be able to find the R bar features. There are going to be three options and we need to enable them. Double click on the option, then go to the drop down menu. We're then going to be setting R bar feature to enabled. R bar options is going to be set to 0001 and the R bar size limit is going to be set to 0x004. If for some reason the resizable bar features are not listed within this exact section of your NVIDIA profile inspector, all you'll need to do is simply navigate down towards the bottom where you'll then be able to find the unknown section, find the first section of number and letters on screen, find the option which matches those exactly, select the option, set it to the matched value, go to the next option, set it to the matched value. That's just the slightly outdated way that resizable bar was enabled with inside of here before it was labeled differently. So if for some reason your system is still using the old way, just enable those settings and you'll get the same functionality. You'll then need to go to the top right hand side to apply changes. At that point, I would definitely recommend doing a quick system restart just to make sure that everything is actually applied and working. If you run into any odd gameplay issues, slowdowns, or you just don't want resizable bar working on some games, you can actually disable resizable bar on individual games. Take yourself to the top left hand side where it says global driver, go to the drop down menu, and just simply find the name of the game in which you want to turn off resizable bar for. Let's say I didn't want to use resizable bar on Battlefield 2042. I'm just using this as an example. Once the game's profile loads, navigate down to the options, then just simply set this to disabled. Once that's done, go to the top right hand side, select apply, and that will just disable it for that individual game. Last but not least, if you would like to do a complete reset of all of the NVIDIA Profile Inspector settings, including your NVIDIA Control Panel settings, all you need to do is simply boot the Profile Inspector, head up to the top to this green button. Once you click that, go to the top right and select apply. Absolutely everything within inside of the Profile Inspector and NVIDIA Control Panel will be 
completely set back to the stock settings at any time you wish. Once those settings have been enabled, feel free to jump into some of your favorite games on both Nvidia and AMD Radeon GPUs, play how you usually would, see if there is performance improvement, or just if general gameplay feels better. For those of you on Windows 10 or Windows 11, get yourself down to your Windows button, then search for GPU space settings. Select the graphics settings panel, then navigate up to the top to change default graphics settings. If you do have the option for hardware accelerated GPU scheduling available to you, make sure that you turn this on. As mentioned earlier on in this video, if you're running on a relatively older Radeon GPU, you can actually enable this via an unofficial patch, which is super quick and easy to apply. Just a very useful bit of troubleshooting. If by any chance you've accidentally enabled or gone to enable resizable bar on a system where it's not supported, such as systems are using the older outdated MBR or master boot record partition style for their Windows install, the system won't boot properly. If this is the case, it's a relatively simple fix. All you need to do is turn off the PC, unplug it from the power, take the side panel off, locate the small battery on the motherboard, remove the battery, wait about 20 seconds, 30 seconds, or even come back in five minutes, put the battery back in, put the side panel back on, plug the system back in and switch it on. This will then restore the system's bars back to its default settings, which it would have shipped with out of the box, whether it's a pre-built system or you put it together yourself, disabling any of the custom settings which you may have adjusted, which your system may not have agreed with. Alternatively, for those of you on higher end systems or more modern motherboards, you might actually just have a reset CMOS button on the back of your PC, close to where the USB slots and the audio ports are. If you do see that, make use of this button as you won't have to take off the side panel or dive into the system to reset the BIOS. For those of you that are able to boot into the BIOS, but it doesn't seem to boot into Windows, I would highly recommend taking yourself over to the save and exit options, where you'll then be able to find the restore system defaults or default settings profile for your system. Navigate down to this option, select it. All of the default settings for the motherboard will then be restored. Hit save and exit. Your system should then have no issue booting back into Windows as it did before. And there you guys have it. If you've happened to run any benchmarks or are playing any games after enabling resizable bar on your system, let me know of your system specs and the performance improvements you were able to see in that comment section down below. I would highly recommend taking the time to watch one of the two videos on screen now. Check out the links in the description down below for other videos that could interest you and make sure to leave a like if you are satisfied with your results. Thank you ever so much for taking the time to watch this video and I'll see you guys in the next one.